Right, what have we got today? Excuse the noise in the background, I'm in the middle of printing something at the minute, as I always am. Right, now this is the ultimate in a sledgehammer cracking a nut. We've got some addressable RGB LEDs here. We have tiny little MOSFET boards here. I'll get these out of the packets in a minute. And we have an ESP32 controller. And we have here a lovely old Rotel RVC230 that's of course been calibrated and all sorted by me. Bought very cheaply off of eBay. Now, one of the things that can sometimes go wrong with these older sets, which can be rather a pain in the bum sometimes, is the meter light can go out. Now, you've already seen my video of recreating a meter uh, digitally. If you haven't uh, looked at that um, using uh, an LED display, that was quite fun. But I thought what might be fun, might be useful for some people, particularly if they have a problem with the, um, the, the what we call the grain of wheat bulbs. I'll put one on the picture now. How you getting hold of them now is getting a bit more tricky than it used to be. Some eBay sellers wanting nine pounds for one. And also in an old, some of the older fitted housings here, they can actually, they start melting the housings for the actual um, meter itself. Uh, and also a lot of people, um, you know, they, they sell them as suitable for CB when they're not and they get, they run too hot and you can have problems. So I thought, now a lot of people don't like using LEDs in here and I understand that, but what if you could use an LED such as these which can be adjusted in terms of brightness and color but you also had the facility should you so wish to simply switch back to using the bulb and all this can be done and you'll learn how to do this really really easily if you carry on watching the video and i hope you do and if you haven't already please like and subscribe and share this video so first off i'm going to explain quickly how i'm going to do this using these components. Let's get them out of the packet first, shall we? Okay, so the ESP32 is a full 32-bit microcontroller. Uh, quite amazing value for money, this thing. I think I picked these up from AliExpress for £1.50. It's got a built-in Wi-Fi. As you can see the module there, you can connect an external antenna. And um, it has an onboard regulator. It can be powered via USB 5 volts or as we're going to power it on this setup with a five volt regulator inside the CB as we did on the LED um, meter video. If you've not seen that, have a look at that. And this is the RGB LED. Now the beauty of these LEDs is that they're addressable and they're addressable by that means you can connect a string of these LEDs up to the microcontroller and it can address each one of these lights individually. Now, in this instance, we're only just gonna be using the one, but if you had other, if it was on say a base station, you had other things, areas that you wanted to illuminate, you could do that uh, But sim by simply just daisy chaining these together and adding as many as you wanted. Now, this is something a little extra that I thought would be quite cool. This is a, a, mo a MOSFET, again, these were a pound. So all of this can be had for less than five pounds, including the light. And what this will allow me to do, well, for the purists out there that were saying, oh, you mustn't put a LED in there, it's got to have a proper lamp and all that, which I understand, totally understand that. Um, with this, the addition of this board, we can add that feature to this. So you can select either the LED or you can select the bulb. Okay, so you can have the, the bulb or the LED. Now, the advantage of this is, and the fun part about this is, is this is why that this is what well, being a Wi Fi device, you can actually control all of the colors and the features of this little light or any attached to it via your phone or your computer. And it's ever so simple. This might seem more oh, technical, but it's not. It's really, really straightforward. And to do that, we use a program called WLED. Now, WLED will, is, is simply, uh, can be installed simply on the ESP32 by connecting this to your computer, going to a web browser, downloading the software onto this board, put your Wi-Fi password and your Wi-Fi name, SSID, into the device, and you can literally go to a web page where you can control the output of, the, of this board. So you can, hook, you can hook your RGB LED up to your ESP32, and using the WLED program, you can control this LED 
you can control you can set effects for it that you can get the exact color now what i thought might be quite cool was because one of the common complaints is that when people fit leds in these lights that they're too bright or the color is not right now with this you can literally use either your computer browser on your web browser to do it so you don't need a smartphone or if you've got a smartphone you can download the wled app uh, from the play store or from the apple store and you can control it on your phone and the cool thing about it, like I say, is you can switch the LED on or off, or you can switch the the old the bulb, the original bulb. So you can leave the original bulb completely in place on the CB, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. We, we're going to actually attach this LED to the outside of the actual meter assembly um, because it's so bright, it will actually shine through and give you the desired effect from the outside. And and if it doesn't. If I find it's not quite up to spec, we'll simply uh, pop this inside the meter with the grain of wheat bulb as well. So I'll have a little play around because I've not done this before. Um, so it'll be interesting. So I hope you're going to find that interesting. I hope you hang around. So first off, I think the sensible thing to do would be to connect all this up on the bench here and test it first to see if we've got that control and I'll show, I'll, I won't go probably into the details of how you how you set up the WLED uh, because there are videos of it online but I'm going to go and install WLED onto this I'll put a link on the screen now so you can go and do the same all you need to do is to connect this up to your PC and install WLED onto this and then we'll come back and hook it all up and I'll I'll show you it being controlled via the phone before we put it into the CB so basically I've got this just sat in the bedboard here and it's uh, it's not powered on at the minute and all we've got here is a little led here which is our output from this device so when we turn off the the main rgb led which is wired up just there when we turn this off this output goes high and we've got our little mosfet board here which is just connected straight into the esp32 and this can switch anywhere from between 6 and 35 volts um, and all I'm doing here is just simulating the your standard grain of wheat bulb. There he goes, we tucked him in there. And all this is just a status LED, just to show that that output is on. Uh, I could actually take that LED out because it's going to confuse matters. Let's take the LED out. Right. So there we go. Right, so here it is powered up. We've got our RGB LED just there off screen. We've got our normal bulb in there. And then what you get on the phone is you get this lovely app the WLED app and I can just move on the scroll wheel if I just zoom this out a bit so you can see to the side so we can just move on the scroll wheel and then change the color of the LED to whatever color we want and of course if you've got multiple LEDs you can have multiple effects totally different colors so you can get it to a the nice center point to the white color there and get it very very similar and get that nice warm sort of glow and you can you can adjust the brightness on oh, there's all sorts of flashy things you can do but the nice thing with this is what we, what happens is when we switch the power off because in here we can configure what happens to one of the outputs it will switch the old bulb back on so when we switch this off the original bulb comes back on now i know a lot of you are going to say well i much prefer that light <laughs> but uh, yeah this is this is the the sledgehammer to crack a nut this is what i was trying to do something fun uh, these little boards are really really cheap they're about a pound and um, that's just got a couple of mosfets they're not really doing a great deal but they're switching that bulb directly and like i say you've got this app on your phone this runs on on iphone or on android and if you're not a smartphone guy you can run this on a pc like i say and this is connected to my wi-fi here or you can have this as a wi-fi access point and you can connect your phone to that so if you're not happy having that on your wi-fi you can actually just connect your phone just directly to that and control it with your phone um, but um i just think it's a great little idea for putting in the cb just a bit of fun um so we're going to drop this inside the roto and see what it looks like. Right, it's time to throw it all in. We've got our 5 volt voltage regulator, which is going to sit down there on that long screw. We took the existing screw out of there. We've got our 3D printed bracket here on here. Uh, that's hanging over the aluminium rail there. And then we've got our board 
with some double sided tape stuck to the foot of that as it sticks out there and it's certainly absolutely fine it's not going anywhere uh, if we need to we can still push these buttons and we can still connect up to it it's really solid it's not uh, it's not going to go anywhere and it's not fouling the lid and our LEDs are on the other side we'll just turn the radio over our LEDs are I've just put a little bit of tape on top of there they're very very close to the lid on this radio and it won't be like this on all radios a tiny little bit of hot glue just to hold that in and then a bit of tape over the top of there and then they they can be easily removed uh, if anyone needs to or wants to they don't generate a lot of heat these LEDs uh, and you can limit the the current actually in the app so if you don't want them to to generate a lot of heat or they're too bright obviously you can adjust the brightness anyway in the app but um Yes, we need to show you how this all now works. And I've also done this so I can still get to all of the controls around that. This, The way this is positioned, it doesn't actually cover any of the controls. So if I want to make an adjustment, I don't have to take that off. I can still get in there to do anything. Right, so I know what you're all thinking. How, how does it look? And can I still use the Wi-Fi with the lid on? Well, I know how it looks. And I can tell you, it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, it really does look good. And I can totally mimic... The, the colour of that bulb so that you wouldn't know it looks exactly the same I'm going to run it with the bulb at the moment um, uh, I'm going to run the bulb at the same time but you really don't have to I'm going to leave it in just for now because it just does bring a little bit of clarity through the front panel so you've got a combination of the bulb shining through and the LEDs on uh, shining down now the advantages of having the LEDs shining down is you don't get any hot spots on the display which you would do if you put the LEDs behind the display and I've seen that on other rigs where people have put LEDs and you get like a bright spot whereas when you shine it top down it's diffused and you don't get that so it just looks really nice so what I'm going to do first is put the case on uh, and it, uh, and we're going to check to make sure we don't have any noise coming through on receive um, which I'm sure we won't and uh and then uh yeah and then we can wrap this video up but i just think it's a really fun little project a uh, good little idea totally cheap to do you can do this for a fiver really and um you might have an old rig where you've got very i've certainly got them where even when you replace the bulbs the the, the actual casing of the rig is so brown that when you put a new bulb in it still looks pretty dim and horrible so you can brighten things up with this little mod and it's totally reversible to all those purists that don't want that in there we take, take it out if you don't like it take it out. right here we go so the lids are on and we've got our led up there on the app we can turn it on and off at the moment this is your standard meter in fact i'm going to shut the blinds so i think this would be nice with a bit a bit darker in here i'll leave the overhead i'm going to leave the overhead lights on just for now so that is um that is the we'll put the back lights on i think that might be better won't it yeah Okay, so that is your standard bulb. That is your standard RVC 230 bulb, which isn't too bad, which is, you know, reasonable, fairly bright. Uh, and now we're going to turn WLED on. It is working with the case on, so we turn it on, and you won't see a great deal of difference there, and that's because the the colour is absolutely perfectly matched. So if we go, if we go to the WLED app here, you can see that on the screen as well, and then we can, you'll see it's a bit blown it's a bit bright on the screen but you won't see but i'm changing that to green now so i'll move this out of the way we can basically change the colors um, but i'll move this out of the way so you can concentrate on this so this is um we can up the intensity so we're up the intensity to maximum so that's the maximum intensity that's pretty bright and that's like a bluish color uh, and then we can change it to a nice red color there we go and again i say it's not doing this justice this has really gone very very red perhaps if i zoom in a little bit to the light it might help uh, help show this let's try that okay so there we are we're zoomed in and we got the light on so we if we turn it off we'll go back to that is the standard color and then we can turn it on we'll go to a, like an orangey color and we can adjust the brightness we can take the brightness down now if you don't run a bulb obviously you can get the brightness just how you want it so we've dimmed it right the way down and you could use this as a dimmer so if we disconnect the bulb I'm not going to disconnect the bulb because I think at the moment I like the way that looks. It, it look the trouble is on the camera. This looks brighter than it actually is to the eye. The camera is up in the up in the brightness. I should perhaps do some manual settings. It might might be better. But um, there are also effects you can do on this app. Um, 
not that I would do them, but there's a there's a, and if you look online on YouTube videos, you'll see a million uh, different WLED effects you can do. I've only got two LED. We've got them flashing on and off here. There's there's a million effects. It don't really work with two LEDs, but it might be something you just want to do for a bit of fun. And of course, as I'm doing here, and of course there are inputs on WLED, so you could have this say light up red when you hit transmit and things like that. There are options that you can do. So um, I've just got it flashing on and off. We'll go back to solid. There we go, solid. We're solid. And we'll go to our colors. And like I say, you can literally pick any color on the rainbow. And if you wanted to, you could use that MOSFET board and have it switch off the, the light and then switch it back on again when it was off. You could do it like that or just disconnect it and use this on its own. I decided not to use this MOSFET board because I prefer the look of it like this. And funnily enough, my favorite color is actually that color which is more of a white color which is more of your led sort of color but you can you could like i say you can make it green you can make it it's not again showing it perfectly here if we turn up the brightness that's really green see how green that is <laughs> but like i say this camera isn't really doing it justice perhaps if i take some photos and add them and the photos might make it look better and like I say, you can run this on the PC, you can run this, you can connect to this. You can either have this as an access point, so when you're out on the, if you're out on the road, you can just connect directly to this with your phone. It will show up as a Wi-Fi access hotspot and you can just log into it. Or you can just have it, as I've done here, access your home network. And then you can just, you can play with it on your phone or on the, the web interface on a PC, which is really cool. That works really, really well. Um, there's a lot, I do get a lot of noise around here, but just to show you that this doesn't affect uh, it doesn't generate any noise. I'll just wind the squelch back. That's just my normal background noise there. And I've also checked it on transmit to make sure we're not getting any problems. We've not got any problems on transmit as well. And we, ha we haven't got any problems on, on the transmitted audio side either. So we're not picking up any interference at all off of the device. It's very red. All right, I hope you found that useful and fun and interesting. Like I say, I can't guarantee... Uh, It'll work perfectly with every radio. Um, access to the meter might be different in certain sets. And also on certain radios, the shielding might not be quite as good and you might hear a little bit of noise from it possibly. Um, but um, uh, for, like, all I can say is it works with the 230 and uh, it's a bit of fun. I won't be doing it to every one of my radios, obviously, but um, I just thought it might be an option for some of you guys that, uh, uh, particularly we've got perhaps base stations and things like that where you've got a lot of meters and you like all your knobs and your dials to light up well why not use WLED and of course uh, if you want to light around your shack or around your living room things like that there's some amazing projects online just go and search it I'm not going to go through them on here because there's tons of people doing it and it's a very inexpensive way of getting some very cool colors and you've really got to see it with your own eyes this really doesn't do that justice at all it's very very red and it's looking sort of more sort of whitey red on here but that is very red indeed and it looks very cool and it's lots of fun so if you have been thanks ever so much for watching thanks for hanging in on, with me there on this one uh, it's a good bit of fun like i say i'm not going to um go on with the sb32 tutorials tons and tons of info on how to get wled on there all i can say is perhaps for your first attempt buy your esp32 from amazon and then you won't have so many problems because sometimes those cheaper ones can be a bit fiddly to get working Right, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.